हेलो एवरीवन गुड इवनिंग सो लेट मी स्टार्ट द वीडियो टुडे वीडियो सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो लेट मी इंट्रोड्यूस माय सेल्फ माय सेल्फ करण राणा अ फुल स्टार्ट डेवलपर हैविंग 3 इयर एक्सपीरियंस इन डेवलपमेंट एज वेल एज आई एम अ फुल स्टार्ट कोडर एट कोड फोर्सेस एंड कोड शेप एंड ऑन द लीड कोड सो टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द ओए दैट वर आस्क्ड on on campus of for the company essential on various colleges so today we are discussing two problems that were recently asked on the 11th september 2024 so let's start with the question number 1 so in the first question we are given an integer that is n equal to 5 that will represent the size of an array where array elements are given that is 2 5 6 8 and 9 Now your task is to iterate through the array and perform the following checks. What are the checks? So the first check is that we have to check if an element at an even index contain an even number. That will that means you have to increment the counter. Then in the odd index we need to check if an element at an odd index contains an odd number. Then we have to increment the same counter. Next after iterating through the whole array we need to print print the final value of the counter what we can get so what we have given the input we have given an input array of size n now we output have to we have, we have to output the add that will represent the count of element that satisfy the condition so first let's firstly let's understand the problem by give using an example so as the given example is there we have an array having five elements that is 2 5 6 8 9 and the output will be 3 how so for the example at index 0 we have the value 2 so as will not know that 2 is an even number when divided by per using the remainder operator we can got 0 so it is an even na now for the index we need to also check the index because as per the above condition check we need to check if the element at even index contains even number so in this case we need to check both the index as well as the number so first we at index 0 we have first check the number now we have to check the index now index 0 percent 2 equal to 0 so it is even so we have got a match and we increment the counter by 1 next in index 1 the value is 5 So when five percent two is equal to one, we have got the odd value. Now for the index is one. Now we divide it by percent two. We have got the value at odd equal to one. So we have got a match because both index and the element is odd. So we got one match. Now how many matches we have got? We have got two matches. Now at index two, we have the value six. So when the value six. when divided by percent 2 it will give me the value 0 that is the remainder by using the remainder operator we have got the even 0 even so that will give me the even number and 6 is even number as we know and also we check the index 2 is at two index and we know that 2 is an even number so when we divide it by using the remainder operator we can got got the value that 2% is equal to equal to 0 so again there is a match let's increment the counter by 1 so we have got the three matches now let's check at index 4 3 so index 3 we have got the value 8 so 8% to equal to equal to 0 but index 3 is an odd number so when divided by percent 2 it will give me the odd index odd value so in the index 3 we have got the value as even but value check is even but the index check is odd so there will be no match so no increment to the counter now at index 4 we have the value 9 so when value 9 percent 2 equal to equal to 1 that is odd value and 4 percent 2 equal to equal to 0 we have got even we have got no match because there will be two different cases the current value is Odd, but the indexing at that is even, so there will be no match, so no increment to the counter. 
now the total increment of the counter is three so that's the problem statement is so let's go through the code of that question that is the check question of the even index and the odd index now i have used the vector array because the vector array is a dynamic array that not does does not depend upon any size or something it will be increment depending upon we want to increment so i can i input n that is the size of vector i have declared a vector array that will take n that is the size of vector i taken a loop that will input the array values in the vector now whole the logic will be done in the solve function now in the solve function i first take a counter equal to that initial value equal to 0 now i iterate through the vector and check parity of both index and element so as per the below exa above example we i have explained that i have to check index and their value will be an even or index and their value will be odd so upon checking when the condition of both the condition meeted then we will increment the counter and we have to return the count that a total number of values that will give me the even index and the odd index parity check now when we we have already have the test cases that we have the input 2 5 6 8 9 then expected out to 3 now we run the code i got the output 3 that is the pass case and the this case is passed so that's how you can solve the question now let's discuss the second problem that is asked on the 11 september 2024 in the essential oe on the on campus so the second problem is actually very famous problem and it actually asked most in the contest you can see, see this question on the lead code and it is one of the most standard question either i asked in the pvc or companies oe2 so the question is the celebrity problem So in the celebrity problem, you have give, given given any entertainment trick that is 2D array that represent a party with n people and each cell m i j that is the i way for row j for column is either zero or one. If m i j equal to one, it means the person i knows the person j. If the if the m i j equal to zero, that means person i does not know person j. So what the problem is? The problem is that simple. If one, it means the I know J. If zero, I does not know J. So what do you mean by celebrity? The celebrity is defined by as someone who is known by everybody at the party. And second co point is that does not know anyone at the party. So what your task your task is to determine if there is a celebrity at the party. If a celebrity exists. then we have to print the index of the celebrity if no then we have to print minus 1 so that the question is that we need to first identify the from the 2d matrix that it is a celebrity if it is celebrity we need to print that index otherwise there is no celebrity then we need to print the minus 1 so what we have given an input we have given an input that a 2d matrix where m ij is either 0 or 1 or an output We have to output an integer that representing the index of the celebrity or minus one if there is no celebrity. So that is actually the second question is that now let us go through the VS Code check how can you solve this problem by doing the simple two steps. I've already pre-written the code of the celebrity problem, so. Let's see the code step by step. So I have declared a n equal to four. I am taking an input of the matrix having this value. Now the actual logic will be done in the solve function. So what we have to done in the solve function? So in the first step, we need to find a potential celebrity. Now if we find a potential celebrity, we need to check the celebrity is known by everyone or not. If it is known, we need to return the index or We need to return minus one if it is not celebrity found. 
so let's check step one so in the first i take an index that will check the initial that will be minus one that means celebrity not found i've taken a loop that will iterate through the vector or 2d array i taken a counter that initial counter equal to zero now we have to check if the person does not know anyone that means row contains all zeros so I do a for loop it will iterate through the 2d array i'll check the condition that if the person does not know anyone then we have to increment the counter now if the person does not i does not know anyone they could be a potential celebrity because as per the condition number two we have already there so we need to assign the i to the index and we need to break out from the condition now if no one was found then we have to return the minus one now we have found out the celebrity now we need to check if so verify the celebrity is known by everyone or not for that i've taken an initial counter equal to count equal to zero i've taken a for loop that it will iterate through the 2d array i've taken a if that will mi index to check through the index equal to one that is celebrity is known by everyone if it is known then we have to return the counter after incrementing it now if everyone except themselves known this person then their celebrity so for that we have a condition that if count equal to n minus 1 that is the total number of celebrity that a counter we have got equal to n minus 1 then we have to return the index of the celebrity or we have to return the minus 1 in case of no celebrity found so for by this way you can solve the celebrity problem easily first you have to find out the celebrity based on the condition given in the question next we have to verify if the potential celebrity is known by everyone based on the condition given in the questions so that's about the two a two a that i've discussed that were asked on the 11th september 2024 so we have discussed all of the codes as well as the problem statement now you can check out the other things on our channel that is on the let's code that I have already uploaded the solution that were asked on the 10th September of Essential, which is asked in the on campus. On the 10th September, there will be also two questions were also asked. So you can check out both of the solution. And if you need a specific company solution, a specific company OA, you need to comment the comment down your company name, or you know you need to comment down what company solution OA solution you want. I will provide the solution with the correct code and optimized code for you. So till now, you have to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to subscribe for more OS, more regular updates about the campus opportunities as well as the placement material as well your coding interview because the currently the campus hiring is going on on the on campus and August September is the time of the campus hiring. So we are actually regularly updating the details of the on-campus OA as well as the job jobs update, which is on-campus or off-campus. So you have to just subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get more regular updates.